let us make this part drying using solid walls and let's check this weight it is coming 1424 grams 1.4 kg welcome to carry 36 we do this in solid work first we take this portion second this and third one middle and last fourth one and this diameter is 30 40 50 and again 40 and length also 165 overall length we'll see go to front plane sketch right click sketch and take a pencil and draw a line For initially we start drawing same approximate uh, shape then we'll make dimension and make a actual size this is what our shape should looks like this is what the shape it looks like so select the bottom line and make a for construction and we have a dimension for this to be 30 mm dia so we will make it half 50 mm and this is 40 mm to be 20 mm the center one is uh, 50 mm dia so we will go for 25 mm and this is 20 mm 40 mm dia so this length to be you see 40 50 55 overall 165 okay this to be 40 i will adjust here no problem move a little bit this we'll make some shape uh, as required okay go to dimension and make a dimension for this to be 50 mm long this is 55 long and take this overall length to be 165 okay this is our profile looks okay then we go to revolve boss so we have to revolve for 360 degree okay then we will start with this front portion this portion we will do it first then we will do this ok go to front top line and make a slot just mark a slot here initially we do basic one then we will make it final so when we make dimension it will match don't worry so this is 23 and this to be 10 mm again take a rectangle we have to cut this we not we not required this portion so just make it a sketch then we will cut it this length to be 17 mm okay then we need to make a hole also there this to here to be 17 mm okay now go to extrude uh, cut this time i make to the mid plane and keep it up to surface it depends you or you can give the length also give maximum length or give you can give up to the surface I will give the length 50 mm so it will cut both side maximum so make a sketch and draw a circle and this diameter to be 4 mm and this hole to be from out to this to be 7 mm here to here to be 7 mm ok then go to features and extrude cut you can select up to surface and select the surface we need up to inside only the hole to be inside ok ok this first portion is done then we go to 
second portion and make a slot here so go to the for making slot we need some reference plane so go to the reference geometry select the top plane and make a new plane new plane to be 4 mm so from center to 16 mm so we'll create the plane then go to sketch again we make a slot here select the slot and draw a slot and make a dimension the dimension to be see here 28 and this diameter from here end to slot to be 11 mm the slot uh, with the 6 mm and we will extrude cut this for uh, 10 mm so it will take overall length again select this third portion uh, we will take front plane sketch and uh, go to rectangle and make a rectangle to cut this portion just draw the rectangle and directly go to extrude cut and take a mid plane and cut for 50 it has to go maximum length ok so this portion also finished then we need a hole here the hole diameter to be 6 mm the length is true length so select the face sketch and make a circle circle for diameter 6 mm and from this end to this circle to be 10 mm it has to be center 10 mm and go to extrude cut go to up to next so it will take up to next ok ok then uh, we need a last uh, fourth this location we make a slot and hole that's it so again go to the front plane sketch take a rectangle again select mark a rectangle somewhere and take a dimension from this end to this end to be 30 mm we need slot for 30 mm and the height to be 5 mm again go to extrude cut and take a mid plane the direction to be mid plane and go maximum 50 mm more than that 50 mm ok then select the face sketch and make draw a circle and this diameter for 8 mm dia here to end to be 12 mm so again go to extrude cut this hole to be for uh, 10 mm deep only so it is for 10 mm deep ok that's it we almost we completed uh, our drawing and the orientation we have to change the orientation before that we select the material I have selected plain carbon steel if I select the plain carbon steel we will check the weight it is showing a 1 kg 424 gram if you change this in kg if you want in kg you can change it to the kg 1 kg for 42 grams if you want to change the appearance you can change your appearance it's up to you if you want to change the direction you can go to the insert features move and copy and select the bodies select the body and just rotate it so you will find where you have to change so we want to change in the y axis so directly go to the y axis and change to 90 degree 
so this is the orientation we have so we also change the orientation and this is a way we make a simple part drawing thanks for watching keep subscribe and like the video